Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to create very very simple animation using Procreate. We will try to mimic La Linea style of Italian animation from 70s. So it's really simple, dark background, white line, everybody can do it even if you are not a very artistic person. Alright, here I am inside Procreate. I'm going to adjust the background color, I need dark background for this project. Some dark dark green, dark blue would be all right. Now I'm going to turn on animation assistant, so canvas settings on the left side. And then you can turn on animation assistant. Here it is, now we can see our frames at the bottom of the screen. I will zoom out a little bit by pinching the screen, select the brush, simple brush and the white color. Now we are ready to start. This is based on the bottom line. We need like horizontal line for every frame. So we're going to draw that. And as you can see, after I draw the line, I hold down my pen. And here again, I hold down my pen. So the procurate would smooth your line. So don't finish too fast with the line. You just draw the line and hold down your pen. This way, take a look. Draw, hold down, and here the smooth line. Again, draw, hold down, Oops, let's try one more time, undo. To undo, you double tap on the screen, hold, and here it is, very smooth arc like this, nice curve. And hold, and straight line. As I mentioned, using this technique, you can do the simple animation even if you are not very artistic per person like myself. So the trick is to hold down the pen, and the procurate will smooth your line. Hold down and nice, nice straight line. All right, so we're going to use this trick again and again. As you can see, I got onion skin here so I can see my previous frames. This way I can position my line correctly. Draw, hold pen down and nice smooth curve, all right? So remember to hold down your pen. This way you will get a smooth line. The Procreate will help you out with the line. Alright, I got multiple frames now. Every time I want to add new frame, I click add frame at the bottom of the screen in my animation assistant. Draw the line and hold it down. Wait for the program to smooth the line and then continue. Hold it down and you got smooth line. I'm going to open settings in my animation assistant and change onion skin frames. So I will be able to see only one frame. I don't want to see too many frames, it's quite messy. Now I can see only one previous frame. So this feature is called onion skin. It's allow you to see previous frames, like ghosts, like load opacity previous frame. So you can know how to position the object on the next one. That's very useful, but at some point, I like to change the setting to just one frame. So I just see the previous one. Now I'm going to click on the frame I drew already and duplicate. So I don't need to redraw the whole frame. That's really easy to do. Simply click on the frame on the frame list at the bottom of the screen and you've got several options. One of them is duplicate. Okay. Now I'm going to back one frame and duplicate this again and move it. I need to move it forward. So it's at the front like that. Just drag and drop and here it is and I can use this frame again. So sometimes instead of drawing the whole frame, you can simply duplicate the previous one and add some elements to it. Remember, this is animation. So we don't want to add too much, change too much in just one frame. We must go slowly, step by step. All right, I just add hold to this frame. So now it will be like count as four frames. I cannot add a frame now after that because it will delete my hold option. So what I need to do, I need to move to the end of the hold over here and now I can add a new frame. All right, so the previous frame will hold for, for three frames. It will be quite lo longer one and now I can continue. And again, we're using this trick with Procreate when you just draw something and hold down your pen, it will smooth the line for you. 
that's like the core feature we're using here is why everybody can mimic that animation style it's really easy with procreate all right guys you can see what i'm doing here i just created new frame then drawing my character again in the new frame drawing my character again i holding pen down so the procreate will smooth my line I'm going to speed up this process a little bit so you can see how to export your animation to GIF and also MP4 video. Alright, so let me speed this up so we can export the final product. All right, my animation is finished. Now I'm ready to export. So settings, then sure, and you can select animated GIF. From here, you can adjust the frame rate, how many frames per one second of animation. Let's slow it down a little bit. All right, 10, maybe nine, maybe eight, something like this will be suitable for this retro style animation. If you need a smoother experience, smoother animation, you need to use at least 15 or even 30 frames per second. But for our retro style animation, nine will be perfect. And here it is, it's exporting your animation. It will take a moment. He need to save all images, all frames as a sequence. So it will be quite large file, be careful. This is GIF. Here's our little GIF. We can save that, we can share that, you can send it to your computer using iDrop, you can just save it into the, your image folder. You can also share this, export this as animated mp4. So this is the video format. So simply click animated mp4 and similar settings, we got FPS frames per second, we can adjust that and then simply hit export. Now it's saving our work as video. So this it can be posted online, YouTube and other platforms like that. So save the video and here it is. All right, guys, I hope it was helpful. That's really nice project, easy way to start with animation on Procreate. All right, if you find this helpful, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. I will see you in the next one.